This is tutorial number four. We're gonna use the same program as we used for tutorial number three, but instead of making it so that you enter in a password and it gives you the good message, we're just gonna find the real password this time. Okay. As you see, it's not gonna. Run. Yeah, it doesn't work. We're gonna find out the real password this time. Drag it. Okay, um, we're gonna find a good message. The good boy message. Scroll down, scroll down. Um, yeah, congratulations, this thing. Okay, um, mm, let me see. Oh. Alright, uh, you look a little bit below this, see if there's anything, any comparing stuff. Anything comparing stuff, we look a little bit above it then. Uh, <coughs> oh, there's a comparing thing. You see it says V-B-A-S-T-R-C-M-P. This is the thing that compares the real, the real name with the fake name. Alright, we're gonna breakpoint it. Press F2. Alright, we're gonna click play so it runs the program. Alright, I'm entering Brian and my favorite animal again. I click validate. Yes, it stops at the break point. Um press F eight so you can start analyzing each code. If you keep pressing F eight it'll analyze each code after the breakpoint like this. Um Okay, Unicode. All right, I'm gonna. We're gonna look at the. We didn't get any good information, so we're gonna look at the this area, which is called the, the stack. All right, anything good in the stack? Sc mm, scroll up. All right. Uh, huh? The heck? Oh, it's con. It's, wow, I thought it would compare my password with the real password, but. Is comparing my username with the real username, so I guess it only works if you enter in this real username here. So I thought this program was like gives you a special password for each username, but nope, it only has one specific username, one specific password. Because right here it's comparing my name with the real username, so we're gonna copy this, paste it on Notepad. All right, this is the real username. Okay, we're gonna restart the program by clicking this. Okay. Um we're gonna go back to where we were before. Um Okay, the big point's still there. We're gonna run the program again. This time we're gonna enter in the real username and then just put any password you want. Click validate. Alright, it stops the breakpoint again. Alright, let's press F eight. So that way it starts tracing down the code from the breakpoint, which is how the program reads it. Um, Alright. We analyze up to here again. Uh, and I didn't get any information on this part, so we're going to have to look at this stack again. Uh um Oh oh wait, my bad. Oh it did show the real one. Next to the compare thing right here. The compare thing compared the my password which is hamster to this one, to this thing. So I think this is the real password. Uh all right, I'm gonna copy the clipboard. All right, um, copy. All right, we're gonna reset the program and run it. Okay. Oh, what was the what was the username again? This. And this is the password. Let's see if we enter and just change one letter. Change this. D to like a C. 
and whoops, my bad. Hold up. <laughs> All right, uh, we, are, we have the username and the password as you as as, as you see. We're gonna run it. All right, turn it in the name. Ah, oh, gosh. This and turn in the password. We'll change one letter to like a D to like a C just to see. Something to see if it works. Validate. Nope, doesn't work. Change it back to a D. And yeah, it works. There. 